This is probably one of the biggest patterns I've made. Well, one of. Probably not the biggest, but like... Man, this is huge. This thing is huge. And you could go even further if you really wanted to. It's like you can continue to do the center pattern. Anyway. I've just been working on stuff. Well, working on waiting, working on papers, reading. Because, like, not only do I have to do papers, like my thesis paper, I have to prepare for my presentations. Presentations. I've got, like, three presentations in the next few weeks. Around the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to be a little busy. So, getting videos ready to go, even if there are more patterns, that's fine. Um, yeah, I believe I have shown you that one. Maybe I haven't. And then there's this one. This one. I just wanted to have a little fun and see what would happen. And just... And we've got somebody joining us. We have another pattern here. I don't know if I showed you this. But yeah. We've got some friends hanging out. I know who that is. I know who that is. Yep. Oh. Sorry for ignoring you. I am, um, recording at the moment. If you can find me, that's great. <laughs> yeah. And I believe I've shown you this one. Maybe I haven't. I'm not sure which ones I've shown and which ones. <laughs> so yeah, like, this one's a pretty cool one. Ooh. I really like this one. It's just, like, the overlapping and the detail. Like, you could do more with this if you just, like, added more details all that stuff. It just... Adds a little depth, little stuff. Like, you could definitely add this to, like, a little build or something. Like, just add little details where you just, like, oh, yeah, like, it looks like there's depth, even though there's not. Actually, yeah. I don't know. It's just fun stuff I'm doing. And, yeah. Speaking of which, I've been doing all right. I've been doing all right. Basically, just... Working on papers, like I did get chapter, I did get chapter two done of the second part of Jesus' perspective of the next story. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit, and then decide later. Get like I wrote it today, and yeah, not sure how I feel about it, but that is okay because yeah, I don't. Needed to be something spectacular. I just, just kind of see how it goes. And if I don't like it, they just redo it. Not a big deal. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's like once I'm done, um, school. Obviously, things change. Yeah, working on thesis has been fun, especially since I've been doing this journey, trying to figure out. Where I was at with all the disability and the church and disability and literature. And yeah. I've been thinking about doing a video on it. I probably will do a video on it. It just might take a little bit. Because, yeah. It's like I've got the presentation slideshow thing. And I, I know which room I need to do it in. But, yeah. The nervous part is... Uh, being ready for it. It's, it's nerve-wracking when you don't know um, what you're doing. So I've just been exploring, seeing what happens, and just having fun. Um, I've been a little bit busy. Currently I have videos recorded up till mid-April. Hopefully I will get a little bit further than that now. Now that I'm making more videos, I have a, I am working on the Scartastic Roller Coaster, I mean, Scartastic Adventure map thing, whatever it ends up being called, but it's still called that because, well, that's what me, most people will recognize, and that's fine. I'm not sure where else I will go with that, but, like, I have, like, a to-do list, similar to what Impulse did for his hardcore world, a to-do list, you know, you know, oops, that's the wrong color. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know, just 
seeing what happens, showing some of my patterns, and then, well, you watch as I work on pattern. <laughs> Why not? Just see what happens. If I like, I like. If I don't, well, it's not the world. <laughs> I've got a little bit of time. Just taking a tiny break from watching The Incredible Dr. Pole. I'm on season 10 right now. Episode 8. Episode 8. Yeah. And then there's going to be another season coming out this month. In April. And... That's cool. <laughs> that's another season I have to watch. Which is fine. Easter. I had a pretty chill Easter. Didn't do anything spectacular. Went to visit my grandpa. Um, at the house. Their house. Um, that was pretty awesome. He's doing okay. He's in a long road to recovery. But he's doing okay. And that's all that really matters. That it's It'll be okay. Um, but yeah. Things have been very interesting over the last few months. I've been brainstorming as of late about what to do next after um, school. Like what books I could write. Cause, like I've already got two books, book ideas that I could write. Both fantasy, funny enough. And I find that interesting. Typically, I am speechless. <laughs> Uh, typically, I don't write fantasy. Okay, finally, got it out. <laughs> we got her out. I don't typically write fantasy. <sighs> and that's okay. <laughs> you know. It's like, because I'm used, like, even though I do enjoy reading fantasy. Writing fantasy is a lot difficult, more difficult because, well, you gotta figure out the world and the environment and all the awesome stuff that go into it. And sometimes you don't need to do that, but people tend to like that kind of stuff and be like, oh, like I love reading fantasy. Hmm, that's not right either. That's okay. I fix. I'm just nervous about all the stuff that needs to be done and wondering how I'm gonna get enough videos and all that stuff. Even though it's not a big deal, because, like, technically there's no storyline going on right now in Hermitcraft. Um. Yeah. Well, there is, but is it worth making a theory video about it? Not quite. Not quite yet. <laughs> I mean, not quite yet. I know, like, it was like it's pretty cool that Hermitcraft is able to get um their season nine world, on um the marketplace, which gets me excited because well, they might be more eager to get <laughs> Stampy's one on the marketplace for free if they're doing Hermitcraft for free. Like I know how much work it is, cause it took um. I'm gonna craft a few months to get it. And no doubt it's taking longer because well it shouldn't take as long because Stampy's lovely world is actually smaller than Hermitcraft. Funnily enough. <laughs> yeah. Much smaller than you think it is. Because he hasn't explored as much. He hasn't gone out and done things as much. Which is okay, but, yeah. It just means you get to go out there and explore and see what new things are out there. Because, like, there was a village. He could have done some villager trading, but he didn't. So he didn't have to think of, like, mending. He didn't have, like, respiration. Whatever treasure saw. He has swift sneak. He doesn't have um soul speed. <laughs> He's just, yeah. Some of those things are actually good game ideas. 
that you just don't know, but you, you don't go out and explore. You don't explore the bastion. You just have the piglins just have their heads strewn everywhere. So like, yes, he did the fortress thing, but it wasn't really a bastion. Cause I want to see the brutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you know, if you saw the finale of a lovely world, like it's kind of disappointing that there were no brutes. <laughs> no brutes. Then again, it probably would have ended very badly. <laughs> Be good, yeah. <laughs> brutes are powerful. Let's just say. <laughs> um, yeah. And Stabby is just telling the story he wants to tell, ending it how he wants to end it. And, yeah. Makes me eager to see his novel series that's coming out soon. Like, yeah, they're the, um, um, auction happening on Hermitcraft this weekend, which is pretty intriguing. Um, I'm curious about it. I want to know more. I want to, even though I don't think I will attend monetarily wise, monetary wise, but I will support at least a little bit. Like, feeling, hey, cool stuff is happening. You want to check it out, people? You know, some people are Lovely World fans, some people are not. Some people are Hermitcraft fans and they expect to see me do more Hermitcraft or at least talk about Hermitcraft. I mean, it's fine if you guys want to hear me talk about Hermitcraft. I like talking about Hermitcraft. And I like talking about book series like Unraveled. Because you know, I have a theory about Unraveled. Uh, or more like the tenth book, it's like more like a desire, more like a a want, because like one of the characters that we only get to hear about has a very interesting story. Of course, I don't want to know every little detail and backstory and all that. We don't need to know that, but like there's this there's this character called Lady Caprice Reddick. Um, who is, um, Morella's mom, um, in the series, and she had a head injury that she endured, um, during, before the events of what we see from Sophie's perspective, and, yeah, we don't know what happened or what went on or all that stuff, but we do know is that. Uh, um, well, it was an accident, or it wasn't, <laughs> we just don't know, and some people think it has any, might have something to do with the, um, um never seen, um, and while other people, well, like me, um, it doesn't have to be, of course it could just, you could never need to know, you don't need to know what happened, I just want to meet her. I just want to meet her, even if I get screamed in the face. Like, with tears, screams, and all the lovely stuff. I just want to see it. <laughs> I just want to see it. I want to get to know her. For her. Not through what other people say. You know? That's the one great I have. The one little thing. I just want to meet her. Come on. I don't need to know her backstory. I just want to get to know her. Who is she? What's her favorite thing? What does she like to do in her free time? So, like, one thing that I wouldn't like is if pretending to be disabled. That's, um... That's a trope that, um... Has gone a little too far. Yeah. Whether or not you're acting or not. Like, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but... Having it as a storyline just doesn't sit right. The same with um having disabled characters sacrifice themselves 
before their um, their death causes a change and it just they seem to be some sort of they they're implied to be some sort of mystical hero and it's like they're just human and they're just normal people like you and me what's why 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 you have to make a big deal I don't know I don't know why people have to make a big deal out of it and be like, oh, this is the best thing ever. Like, this is just a human doing human things. It's just a human living their lives. They're normal. It just happens not to be normal for us. And that's fine. Things don't have to be normal. They just are like what's normal anymore these days nothing is truly ever normal but yeah that's just a thought <sighs> yeah it's like stories that make it seem like oh like you learn a lesson from or a special message from those with disabilities but like yeah it is people you know even the non-disabled people can teach you a lesson. <sighs> Maybe the lesson you should learn is to, well, not assume that's all you're going to get. Like, be okay with not having it get super impressive <laughs> or just sorry. Because I sure don't. I can impress people, though. But I sure can't um, impress them with an origin story. Like, I've done pretty cool things, yes, but not origin story related. Some people may disagree, and that's fine. <laughs> but I'm just thinking here. Not everything um, it can be taken at face value. Did I get them all? Yep, I did. <laughs> okay, okay. Basically, I want to see change. I want to see something different, something cool. Something unique, but also normal. Something that can happen to anyone, but of course, over drama, dramatized. Sometimes we just over dramatize um other things that at sometimes we lose the perspective, lose the true meaning of a story. Story isn't always about getting inspired. You know? Sometimes a story can just be about connecting with someone. Someone you wouldn't otherwise connect to. And that's just as good. It's like it doesn't have to be like an awe-inspiring, fantastical story. You can just be somebody going to the mall and being like, Oh, here's what happened at the mall. And this is what happened. And this is what happened. It's just connection. Learning something about this person through their everyday lives. Because, yeah, that's just them. And there we have it. Yeah. This is it. This is a pattern that I made. I like it. I mean, it could get it could get better by you just going on and on and on and on, especially with the middle thing that you continue sporadically. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever that might be. Goodbye.